welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Jesse. In today's tip, we'll be talking about chewing gum. Well, sort of. Look at this tree. It's a mess, but we're in luck if we'd like to tidy it up a bit. Dirty tree, clean it up with orbiting motion of your mouse and a right click and some other controls. Well, I can't do her voice, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Gum commercial? Anyway, we'll go from this to this. Ah, much nicer. Let's see how it works. To access these controls, simply right click at the top of the assembly tree. From within here, you'll see fly out for tree controls. We'll talk about five ways to filter your tree with these options. Number one, hide unused configuration names. For me, the most valuable control is this top one, which was new for 2017. This option allows us to hide the configuration and display state names if there's only one. This is great information to have if you have custom configurations or display states, but it just clutters up the tree if you don't. Now I haven't missed the word default plastered all over my tree, but if this option is turned on and you're feeling nostalgic for the good old days, simply hover over the component and the information is still available. You'll notice that any items with custom info will stay. For example, this lens cover has two display states for different colors, so it's calling out which one it's currently using. You'll find controls in there to manually turn off, config, and display state names as well. Number two, show component descriptions. This is a great option for those of you who use both the part name and the description property. Maybe you use the part name as the part number and the description tells what the part is or vice versa. Either way, you've now got both bits of information side by side in the tree. Number three, comments. Another great option in here is to show the comment indicator. Comments will become more visible as this will flag a feature or component with a little comment icon if there is a comment associated. Now you can leave important information in the file and be sure it will be seen. You can leave a note for that cute coworker or play a practical joke. I guess you could even use it for work purposes as well. Number four, view features or mates and dependencies. This is for assembly work only. This standard tree layout shows us all of the features underneath each part. Sometimes that's helpful and sometimes that's not. If you want to gear your tree more towards complex assembly work, I prefer to switch the tree into mates and dependency mode. This way, the features will be hidden at the bottom and the important assembly information is bubbled up to the top. Lastly, number five, group component instances. This is a great option for assemblies where there are many of the same component that were not created by a pattern. Pins, washers, fasteners, clips, and the like often fall into this category. There's no reason to have those components strewn across the tree and SOLIDWORKS can group these into a folder for us. Now this assembly doesn't have much to condense, but keep an eye on the locking pin components here. Once I select this option, we see that any instances are scooped up and automatically placed in a folder for us. So there we have it, five ways to clean up a dirty tree. I hope this was helpful and I hope to see you back next week for another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below. 